One of my favorite things in the world are songs that just slap when really you wouldn't expect it. I've already done one video on Barbie songs and I gotta say, I definitely remember at least one that was honestly just a straight banger. So I'm coming into this with now pretty high expectations, not gonna lie. But I also have no doubt that those expectations are gonna be met and blown out of the water. I do wanna say that I've actually been watching Barbie Life in the Dreamhouse, uh, cause it's on Netflix. And unironically, that show is hilarious. I don't know if you've watched, have you seen it? It's like so self-aware, so meta, ridiculous, and just legit hilarious. I do recommend. And it's done nothing but further my journey into the Barbie rabbit hole. So the first song is To Be A Princess from Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper, which we had a couple songs from in the last video. It's all here in the princess's book. I thought that was a crown, not gonna lie. Let's begin. I already hate him. Am I meant to? Is he a good guy? Maybe he is. He's like, oh, the love interest. But I don't know. Anyone that talks to me like that, it's all here in the book. Uh, the Guide to Etiquette, you uncivilized swine. <laughs> Maybe he'll win me over. Maybe that's what this whole song's about. No nagging, bragging, sweating, fretting, slipping, tripping, slurping, burping, twittering, or frittering aloud. That was, that was, it's a wide variety. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what is twitting? What does that mean? Also, slurping? Or burping. To hell with bodily- You can't take a sh**, Barbie. None of that. Don't- Don't you dare. You- You wanna ex- You wanna excrete what's wrong with you. Princesses. Don't sh**. Quote Matthew McKenna 2023. Stay present. Stay pleasant. Stay proud. You say I'm meant to like him, like he's the protagonist or, so, or like love interest, but I don't know, seems misogynistic. Stay present, stay pleasant. Do not, under any circumstances, sh**. Don't hate him, my boy. Your boy? To be a princess is to know which spoon to use. Oh yeah, the most important thing. A thousand pairs of shoes to maintain a regal gait. Leave the parsley on your plate and be- Parsley? <sighs> Like, I understand that they're like just lyrics and some weird things that are being said probably to highlight how weird the whole thing is. But just to like reiterate the list, being a princess is knowing what spoon to use, having a royal gate, wearing a bunch of different shoes, and importantly, <laughs> leaving the parsley on the plate. To be a princess is to never be confused. How does he somehow sing with that posh ass accent too? He's like, make sure there's no burping, no slurping. Then he's like, to be a princess is... <laughs> Again, like, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm like, oh, misogynist princess stuff. But maybe there's a to be a prince song where he's like, to be a prince, you must... not have fingerprints. <laughs> Hell yeah, trumpets. Is she gonna sing? Don't ever stray from protocol. All through the day, there's just one way you must behave. Oh, some Do lovely deep notes. Oh my god. Crack. Step up a lip and arch the back. Bend from above and always wear your gloves. Isn't that the opposite of what they just did? Stiff up a lip and arch your back as he stood up straight. Isn't that literally the opposite of arching your back? Okay, I'm gonna do you and me a favor. I'm gonna try to not nitpick for the rest of this song. After this song, all bets are off. But specifically this one, I'm just gonna listen to some nice sexist singing. Shoulders back and tummy in and pinky out and lift the chin and slowly turn I the head. I love the way that Barbie movies seem to consistently making it fit within the aesthetic of the time period because they're making him sing really posh and over this light piano and the bounciness of that piano sort of inherently makes the rhythm of his lyrics have that weird old timey posh sound to them. I oh, now she's singing. Gently, stepping lightly, smile she had three words. <laughs> Never show a thing you feel inside. Oh man, his vibrato is incredible. To be a princess is to always look your best. I know I said I wasn't gonna nitpick, but like, what the f? <laughs> so I wasn't even talking about the cat. What I was gonna say was that that dress, like, yeah, it was, it's nice, but it wasn't like that big a step up from what she was wearing already. But yeah, I mean, the cat's tongue is. At something. Where'd the cat even come from? Is to never get to rest. Sit for a portrait. That was like the most random thing. The cat had nothing to do with the lyrics or the song. It wasn't singing. They didn't even mention the cat and they were just like, yeah! 
Here's a cat. Sit for a portrait, never squirm. Sleep on a mattress, extra firm. Speak and be clever, extra firm? never at a loss for words. I always expect with these kinds of prince and princess songs for them to do high notes, but it's always such a pleasant surprise when they go, no, 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 no. We're gonna run this note down. Learn how to play the harpsichord. Sing la la Why? Always <laughs> harmonize in the third. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I like that. It's so meta to always harmonize in thirds as they, you know, do. She's like a rose that's forever in blue. <laughs> why, why did his voice crack? Hello? Is that there to like highlight that he's imperfect, everyone's imperfect and they have their flaws? Be prepared whatever royal life will bring. Oh, I love that note so much. There's a time and place and way for everything. To be a princess is to never make- Oh, the strings coming in with the voice. God damn. Use your head. Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna hazard a guess because I'm out here like, why is this guy singing things that sound misogynistic? But I'm actually guessing that maybe he doesn't necessarily believe in all of these things, but he's sort of trying to prepare Barbie for the expectations that everyone else has. Sorry, not Barbie, the other one. And the whole song is sort of there to explain how convoluted and complex being a royal family member is. And so all those tiny nonsensical nitpicky things are like, you know, the point. <laughs> I don't know, that just feels right to me. And if so, I like that. It's a fun, it's a fun little message. So do you think he's a prince or not? Is he the pauper? What the f is a pauper anyway? The next one is called Connected and it's from Barbie and the Diamond Castle, which is a movie we haven't touched yet. I, I don't... I was gonna say I'm excited. I am, but I also am cautious because I don't know what to expect. And sometimes these are weird. Oh, this is such an old school video. I'm blindfolded on this carriage ride that they call life. Keep trying to make it through that next turn. This is Knuckles like white. not like remotely what I thought. It's like an acoustic, but it also kind of feels like something that might be in like My Little Pony. Through the carriage ride they call life. Why knuckling? Why is she holding so tight on the car? Like, it doesn't really seem like her life is crazy here. She's like picking flowers. Holding tight. Nice run. So here Wait, I there's two of them. Taking the curve. But I know that I'm never alone. Oh my god. I can already tell these guys are gonna harmonize and it is going to be beautiful. Their voices feel like they were made to meld together. And how you never there it is. Let me go. That's ridiculous. And they're singing over each other. Stop. It's so simple at the moment. They're not overcomplicating it. But the way that they're coming in layering over each other, oh, that's it's beautiful. And everything else is gonna be alright. I can so see that. This, nothing can break this. I was nothing can break this time. I was about to say, oh, I can see it getting a little bit more complex. And as they did, they hit me with some different harmonies, which just also sounds so lovely. That's what I've come to expect from this. And you know what, to be real, pretty much every Disney, every cartoon video I do, I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm gonna get? Banging harmonies. Connected. Okay, keep that vibrato, god damn. Why'd everything go all weird colors? Oh, it's back. Cause nothing can break this, nothing can break this There's like four layers going on Connected Did that come from in the picnic basket? Just a casual, lovely, run down, okay Ariana Grande picnic basket, bitch <laughs> Sometimes I just need to stop talking sooner This is weird. Yeah. Truer words were never spoken in the history of Barbie movies or in the history of my videos. Cause nothing can break this. Nothing can break this. So they're this. singing with a picnic. Time. Oh. Who are you? Show off. Okay, girl, go off. Sing the chorus again, please. 
Who are you, mirror lady? And how are they just so casual about this? Can you imagine just singing with your friend, having a good old time, and you're like, oh wait, what's that? Oh, that's that's more vocal harmonies coming from a picnic basket. Nope, not the picnic basket. A thing inside the picnic basket. A mirror, which has another person that kind of looks like us singing too, and then begging me to continue singing. How are you just like, oh, it's a daily occurrence, you know? You don't have mirror people singing to you, Pff, loser. Uh, sure. And you have a beautiful voice. They're literally talking to her like they don't know who she is. So how did they not care? Are you real? <laughs> how did you get in the mirror? In the mirror? I'm nobody. Nobody at all. Wait, what? <laughs> the plot thickens. I assumed it was just another person holding another magic mirror and they were communicating through, you know, like FaceTime, but Barbie. But she didn't even deny that she was in the mirror, so is she trapped in some kind of horrific mirror landscape? Or is she just, you know, butt dialing? <laughs> just pretend you never saw me. Wait, don't So she worry. can also just manipulate Stay. the mirror. Please. Two voices. One, what? two. If I could wish for one thing Wow, they're hitting that higher now. That you bring. Wherever you go in this world, I'll come oh God, that sounds along. way too good. Come on. I'll come along. No, harmonize with her. Together we dream the same dream. dream the oh, dream even better. Oh my God. She went up. Oh my god! All of them hitting that same note at the same time at the end. Mwah! Spicy! Amazing! I'ma just say it. That was really weird. She said it too. The whole thing, odd. However, the whole thing, slapping. So, you know, I'll put up with the weird mirror dimension, I guess. And the whole can of worms that opens in order to get the lovely sound of all three of those people singing together. You know, keep her trapped in the mirror. Leave her there forever, as long as we can hear those beautiful vocal harmonies all together. I'll admit, the next one I'm very excited for, because in my previous video I did a song from Rockin' Royals, and I remember that went hard, I was living, so now I get another one, and I am freaking pumped. It's called What If I Shine. Such dramatic piano. And she's playing it too. That's right, I forgot that this was about, like, them as a band, performance, something like that. A literal recording artist. So we're hearing their songs in universe. I spend too much time thinking about who I'm I love the compression on the vocals. It makes it have that quite high-end heavy sound that really cuts through, especially when you're doing something like playing it over a piano, which has such a warm, deep, resonant tone. And then you've got these hard compressed vocals slamming through. It also makes it sound more modern. I play by I mean, that seems to be a common theme in Barbie, is like, having to abide by other people's rules. If your eyes are closed, it's hard to see. I'm calling it now. I think we're gonna get a low-key first chorus that isn't gonna be too big, but it might have some drums and a bit of electric guitar, but the last chorus of this is gonna go hard. I feel like it's gonna take me from this really slow start to a big finish. What if I back down? Although even if not, like, just hearing this is beautiful too. Who I, truly am. What if I, lose my I was about to say a high note and they hit me with it. Oh my god, the minor shift. That was beautiful. What? It doesn't feel often enough that you get a song like this that runs a melody line like that. It gives it such a longing, dramatic sound. Oh, here everyone else comes. Hear me, please. What if I not. They're setting up the drums, you're teasing me, bruh. Should I even care? They're all sitting there. Okay, so they're bringing those instruments in for the second verse. Step out in the spotlight, maybe I'll be oh my God, do you hear the backing vocals? They're so breathy and surrounding. What if I back down? And they're speeding it up. Hell yes. Of what might happen. That's that's so good. When you show them 
That is such an interesting drum sound for that too, because I hope you understand what I mean when I say this, but the drums feel so loose and like incredibly acoustic. Sometimes you can get that acoustic drum sound where they don't sound quite acoustic and they're all a bit tighter, but this just sounds like someone that is smacking away at an acoustic kit and it sounds great, works perfectly for this song. The way they stick on that is so good. I could see a key change happen later. Or is it happening now? What? That's a beautiful change up. What was that? That was so weird. I loved that. And now I love that they have this little synth going like boop. Such a bop, seriously. And they're harmonizing that bit. That's also different, oh my god. Is that gonna build up again or take it down? That's such a weird part, but I love it. Menacing. Yo, what was that ending? The way they took the sound from this big but rigid chorus and then managed to slow it all down and compact it all for that little shine bit, that hit. And I tell you, I would never have guessed that that was the style they were gonna go for even the bridge, but especially the ending. It's just another song that I love start to finish. It's it's too good, stop, stop it. Have some flaws, please. <laughs> the last song we're gonna listen to is from Barbie Island Princess and it's called I Need To Know Duet. <laughs> I have so much to ask you. Such a stereotypical character, I love it. What lies beyond the horizon? A world of people like oh. you and me. So she's not like stranded, she just lives on the island? And she's leaving. What is she the princess of? The island? And if so, does she just go, oh yeah, you're cute. Time to just like leave my people. Are you really thinking of leaving? So there are other people. You can't mean it, Ro. Not people. I think it's a great idea. Definitely not people. So is she princess of the animals? What island has an elephant, a red panda, and a peacock? Are those three animals even on the same continent? <laughs> Couldn't she just take the animals with her? Where is the land I come from? Who lives where I was born? Man. Why do my memories start with a storm? Oh, is that weird? But Barbie. Movies, why are you treating me with such deep notes all the time? Oh, I just keep expecting high notes and drama and I get these lovely drawn out low tones living for it. What if I have a family somewhere beyond the sea? Could there be someone there missing me? Missing you? Did she come as like a baby or something? How did a baby get, I mean, it's like, it's like a Tarzan situation. I'm trying to work out how she'd be there as the only human, but also not know if she has a family. So like her parents get shipwrecked here and they died or something. And the, 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 the animals took care of her. In which case, how she speak English. She was communicating with that guy, fine. Okay, we're still getting some high notes. Oh. Such a playful little thing. I love the sound. Who's she duetting with though? Oh, well, I asked the question at the right time. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, oh, couldn't she just take the animals with her? Good to know that she just thought of that too. Why does he look Wait, though, <laughs> were those like all of the animals on the island that could also speak with her and speak English? Can they speak English to this guy? And she doesn't care about any of the other animals? Why does he hide his feet? Why does he hide his feet? I don't think he's hiding him, bro. Like, I don't know, if I could choose between wearing shoes and not wearing shoes, I feel like not wearing shoes would be painful. So, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Is this the tree he sleeps in? <laughs> what can he see from there? I like that we're getting vocalizations of all of the weird things she doesn't understand about humanity. All these questions keep they go from so deep to so high. They're also delivering those lyrics really nicely because they have the long drawn out note followed by the speed up, but the way they're running through it makes it almost feel like we're on this flow, like this roller coaster of fast, slow, fast. So is she just like not seeing a person? <laughs> 
Okay, straight up change up. God, even higher. How high can you go then? The way that they... Uh, because they're keeping the music so simple and sort of in the background a little bit, her voice is just absolutely shining. Her notes are so clean, her vibrato is amazing. And we're just hearing the complete flawlessness. I'm still gonna say though, it says duet. Is he gonna sing? Or is it like duet with the elephant? This would be terrifying if you were used to an island, right? It's a really nice melody. It's like hopeful, but like forlorn at the same time. And I can totally understand like needing those answers, right? Especially since I'm guessing she's just lived her whole life on this island with no idea of what's outside. And then this guy shows up and he's like, look at this, I've got a big old ship. I can take you across the ocean. I feel like you would just have to know what's going on and what's out there. Sing, sing boy. Isn't she just amazing? I kind of expected deeper, but I like the pitch of his voice. Do you think she might like me? How do I look tonight? I just want I think them singing together would be really nice. Be right. Who's that? Where the hell did you come from? What? I thought it was just the dude and Barbie. <laughs> this guy just rocks up. Like, yeah, bro, I got you. You go you go hit on her. Questions keep turning and churning and burning and I like how he's replicating the melody too. I need to know oh, there you go. I like that they have them singing different melodies too. This is what I was waiting for. It sounds beautiful. And his voice is a bit soft too. It's not cutting through. He did a little trill there. Okay. Are they gonna swell up again? Oh, that's the ending note. They could have kept that going a little bit longer and I would have loved it. That was just really sweet. A nice, cute little way to end out the video. They sounded really beautiful together. Harmonies everywhere in all of these songs, honestly. We've just been absolutely treated to every harmony in the world. And I have absolutely no problem with it. So the end result of this video was exactly as I expected. I'm sitting here, blown away, very impressed, but you know, we knew, I said it. You knew it. You started this video going, this guy has no idea what he's in for and he is going to be loving it and love it, I did. So if you have suggestions for other songs from Barbie movies that you'd like me to do, let me know because I can feel in my bones that there's gonna be another video of these that I'm gonna do. So hope you're happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.